I didn't see you there. Today we'll be going over what is known as the slippery slope fallacy. Now I wouldn't say it's really a favorite of mine. There's so many better ones to choose from, but it's got to be at least top 15. Take it away. A slippery slope is the argument that if one action is allowed to happen, what will follow is a chain of events that leads to unfortunate or unforeseen consequences. This is based on the idea that if an object is placed at the top of a slippery slope, it will slide all the way down to the bottom if given even the slightest nudge, the top of the slope being normal or stable, and the bottom of the slope being the drastic worst case scenario. Kind of like how if somebody yells at the top of a mountain, it starts an avalanche which will then smash the town below it. Now, the problem with this type of reasoning is that it avoids engaging with the issue at hand and instead shifts attention to extreme and unfounded hypotheticals, or the chain of events as stated earlier. Because these hypotheticals situations have no proof backing them, the fallacy has the ability to appeal to the emotion because it leverages fear over concrete details. Now, there are some ways that you can avoid committing the slippery slope fallacy. One way is to stick with the facts and evidence that you already have when discussing a point. Don't try and branch off into possibilities or ulterior motives or anything like that. No, nobody cares because you've already committed the fallacy. So, yeah. Stick with the facts. In addition, for the points that you do have, try and justify them more so through the use of credibility rather than emotion. Think about it like when you're trying to get a point across, you would want to use a little bit more reasoning than you would necessarily fear. And finally, avoid hypotheticals or creating hypothetical situations whenever you can, both in writing and in speech. Look, I don't care how long the shipment takes, you get it to port tonight or so, oh my god, I will grab a coat hanger and wrap it around your... Gotta go. Well, that's all the time we got today, folks. See you next time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some tapes to return. Hey, hey, uh, what's today? It's like, uh, Thursday? Uh, let's, let, uh, let's go with the red herring, okay? Uh, take it away. Down right here. So what's this red herring thing that I've been reading about? Uh, it's some sort of fallacy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, red herring is a logical fallacy. It's basically... Well, whenever somebody throws a red herring, it's whenever they're trying to get off topic or trying to divert the conversation away from what the original topic was. So, uh, could we try this out now? Oh, oh, you want to, like, to try the fallacy right now? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, shoot, uh, I'll go first. Uh, you are fat and ugly. In fact, and ugly. Well, I'm losing weight. Oh, you've, you've yeah. been losing. And I can't really do anything about this. Okay, well, there is something you can do about those clothes. Yeah, I mean, come I'm on, sure. Yeah, those clothes? Come on. Did you get them from Goodwill? Out, out of the dumpster? I got them. Target. Target? Yeah, Target. Like, bullseye, cute yeah. puppy dog, Target? Yeah. Well, spell it with, with me, just so that we're on the same page. T-A-R-G-E-T. -E and bullseye. Target, yes. Um... Okay, well, hey, that comic book. This comic book? Yeah, this comic book, but what is that? Dark Horse? Dark Horse? Come on, dude, it's not 1976. Who the hell reads Dark Horse? This is an Eisner Award-winning comic. Oh. Yeah. Like me, Eisner Award? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I see the, the little top right corner of the, uh, <clears throat> Eisner, uh, sticker of approval. Yeah, you, uh... You don't really seem to have a cohesive argument. It's just... You went from my weight... to my clothes... to a comic book. That's... I don't understand. Am I, am I getting off topic? Or yeah, I, you're... I feel like it's all the very same... Oh, oh, oh. What is that? Is that a fish? I got hit in the face with a fish. In your backyard. A fish. What kind of fish? That doesn't matter. There's no water here. Not a pond or a stream. 
A fish. What kind of fish? I don't know. We'll pick it up and see. Oh. Okay. It looks like a red herring. Distraction or misdirection aimed at stopping an argument. Exactly. Yeah. A red herring is designed to completely derail an argument with no intent of going back to the original topic. Mm. You get what a red herring is now? Yeah. He gets it. <laughs> So you probably figured out by now that this entire video is full of red herrings. I'm just gonna give it to you straight. You wanna know how to avoid throwing a red herring and at the same time how to avoid being tricked by one? Here you go, get ready. Are you listening? So seriously, listen up. It's, it's just one thing, it's one easy trick. Just stay on topic. That's it. That's all you gotta do. If somebody asks you a loaded question, all you gotta do is stay on topic. If somebody's trying to throw you off or change the argument because they're in the wrong, all you gotta do is stay on topic. That's it. That's seriously it. Just, that's all you gotta do. This whole video, you don't even need it. Just stay on topic.